This is going to be the end of the road for a lot of salmon. These bears are really hungry. They haven't tasted salmon for 10 months and the big males battle for the best fishing spots. The salmon make short exploratory leaps to see where the bears are. But they don't always get it right. Mm -hmm. Hi guys and welcome to another video. Before we go on to our fishy product, make sure you give this video a like, you press that subscribe button and you ring that bell so you get notified of my future videos. If you haven't guessed already, today we are talking salmon protein. The company in question haven't paid me to do this review. I'm in no way affiliated to the company and everything that I speak about today is based on my own opinion and my own findings. Yes, say goodbye to good old fashioned whey protein and let's welcome salmon based protein powder. One of the first complete salmon based protein powders to hit the market. This comes from a company called Amata Power. Amata Power is an all new supplement company based in Hungary. Their first product to hit the market is this salmon based protein powder, which is unusual. Not the fact that the protein is from salmon, but the fact that normally when a supplement company comes to the market, they normally start off with a pre-workout shake or tablet. So the biggest question is why go for salmon over say whey or cassie? Salmon is a great source of protein. It has healthy fats and it's a high quality dairy free alternative to whey or cassie. Your body can easily break down the amino acids it contains and fish is really easily digested by the body, which if you normally get digestive distress from your protein powder, this would be a great alternative. So the ingredients and nutritional information. So I am currently looking at the strawberry flavored powder. So it has hydrolyzed salmon protein powder. So hydrolyzed basically means that it is already pre-digested. It is already broken down, which makes it easier to absorb. The next ingredient is malic acid. Malic acid is found in a lot of food production. It is used to increase the acidity of the food. It boosts the flavor of foods and it is also a color stabilizer. Next we have natural colorants. So for this one, we have beetroot powder. I know in the others we have different colorants. We then have MCT oil. MCT stands for medium chain triglycerides. So your healthy fats. As the process that they use to make the salmon protein, it does remove the fat from the salmon. So what they've done is they've put in an easily digested MCT oil. Smart. Then we've got natural flavor and emulsifiers. So just to combine everything together, because you, you can't have a water molecule and fat molecule, so they use emulsifiers to bind them together. We then have acacia fibers. So acacia fibers are dietary fibers. Big fan of fiber. As if you've watched my previous videos, you know I speak about fiber a lot. Fiber improves digestion and it keeps you fuller for longer. Pretty good. Then we go on to the sweeteners. So Amata Power have used steviol glycosides as their sweetener. Steviol glycosides are an extract from the stevia plant. They are 200 times sweeter than sugar. They have zero to very few calories in them. We then have anti-caking agents just to stop it from all going clumpy and make sure it stays as nice and powdery inside. So now we'll go to the actual nutritional information in the product. So per 32 gram serving, that gives you 126 calories, 0.9 grams of fat, of which comes from saturated fat is 0.5 grams. We have 0.8 grams of carbohydrates, which is 0.2 grams of which is sugars. 0.2 grams of fiber, then have a whopping 28 grams of protein, 0.8 grams of salt. We then have some minerals, some potassium and some phosphorus, which is from the salmon protein itself. So let's talk about price. Amata Power Salmon Protein is probably one of the more expensive proteins on the market at the moment at £29.90 per 454 gram tub. There is 14 servings per tub bought. That works out at roughly £2.14 per serving. It may seem expensive, but what you are getting is a lot more. If you are lactose or gluten intolerant, 
that extra money is probably worth it so you don't get the stomach upset. With natural flavors, natural colors, no added sugar, no soy, no dairy. It is also said to be keto friendly if you follow that lifestyle, but there is more. The salmon Amata uses comes from Norwegian farms. They have stated that their manufacturing process uses as much of the fish as possible and very little goes to waste. Norwegian aquaculture is among the most sustainable food production there is. Norwegian salmon companies are leading the way in sustainable protein production. Amata Power gives you the option of a wooden spoon instead of plastic, which is brilliant. You also have the option on their website to have no spoon at all. They are, however, currently supplying the product in a plastic container but they have said they are looking at ways to change this. 1% of every purchase goes to a company called 4Ocean. 4Ocean use some of their profit to remove plastic waste from our oceans. Lastly, the salmon that Amata Power used to create their product has been certified sustainable by Friends of the Sea. Friends of the Sea are a non-profit organization who regulates fisheries and aquaculture. So one of the questions a lot of people are asking is, does this product taste like you are drinking fish? One of the old bodybuilding things that a lot of people used to do was get a blender, shove in tuna, shove in chicken, shove in water, blend it and drink it. Is this gonna be similar? I have one here now with me and I'm gonna drink it and I'll give you direct feedback straight away. Just so you know, I have not tried this yet. This will be interesting. Amata have said, that you should make the drink with 400 ml of water. This helps to mask the taste of fish. I'm a little bit nervous, but we shall see. So I've just been and made this. I've done it with 400 ml of water, put in the whole sachet of strawberry. And as I was making it, you couldn't really smell any fish. It did have a weird smell to it, but the smell wasn't bad. Once made though, there is a bit of a yeah, once made, there is a bit of a smell to it, but not fishy. Let's see. Sadly, it doesn't taste of strawberry, but it doesn't taste of fish either. That's a good thing. It has a slightly acidic taste to it. It is sweet, but not overly sweet. Hmm, it's not bad. Hmm, it's all right actually. I've had vegan proteins in the past and they've tasted horrendous. I've had poor whey isolates that have been disgusting. Not bad. So to summarize, it's a great product. It doesn't taste bad at all. It's a good alternative to whey. The only downside to it is probably the cost, but I won't be put off by that. Overall, it's a great product. If you would like more information, I will post their website here and also in the description below. Go and check them out. If you have any questions or you found some weird and unusual supplements that you'd like me to talk about or you'd like me to check out, then as always, drop a message in the comments below. If you would like to see more of me, <laughs> you can find me at Facebook or at Instagram. I'll see you there. As always, stay safe. Until next time, farewell.